Here we go, live, round one. I'm going to spectate deer, just because I want to see what they do. We've got a trench ghost already, so this could get very spicy, round one. Yeah, there's no supports for Alibamos, and they got a recon with an MPN, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> my days. So deer's going straight into server, I like that play, because if you get server control, you can get very good branching map control. Ooh, I was Paul gets the first pick. Oh, yeah, going in on the ramp. Oh, it's an unfortunate TK. Okay, but, gets the trade. Yeah, but D is behind them right now. D is in their spawn. D is going through suicide right now. I saw a, map, a ghost pickup there. They're pushing it right through ramp. They're going to go for the cap. They're all there. They're all on they ramp. get it. But here comes Bluff and Deer. Here comes Bluff and Deer. Unfortunate TK. No. Oh. Yeah, they didn't commit after they got that kill, and I don't think the ghost carrier was looking behind them. Don't you just love new bro tournaments? Because that play would have never happened in an actual tournament match. Yeah, Nobody all four of them were that. on. All four of them were on ramp, looking up the ramp, and they get flanked by the last two players, and they all die. See, Cyprian, you're already asking, would that be broken? One grenade would kill five supports easily. You just act them away, but one grenade, one death pack. Uh, DSR thinking McCordon is transcending human comprehension with this teleportation right now. Teleporting right now. I was Paul on window looking like somebody's alt because he actually know this map. Brag on suicide with the MPN. Oh, Paul gets the first pick on your corner. Teleportation has been put to arrest. I was Paul looking to transfer that into a double kill. Goes for the flank. Risk gets one. Do you getting picked off? Risk gets a double kill. Well played. 14 HP with the MX here on Harris. Blue gets Blue Ours, gets... Paul. Yep. Brag was He's... still on an MPN. <laughs> Okay, so Bloof. Bloof's got a good position. Yeah, Bloof drop. Oh, unfortunate. Didn't quite have the right angle here. Nosferatu versus Loose now. Nosferatu making a lot of noise here. Loose is flanking through red slowly. Mm -hmm. Alibamos. Proving that they can actually, like, contend these rounds, which is really cool to see. I didn't expect anything from them, not gonna lie. Loose, if you hear this, you're a beast. He doesn't. Oh. This is why audio is so important. He's playing that, that Taylor Swift. What does that even mean? Okay, one so one here. For, yeah. Honestly, I think that these rounds do actually hinge very heavily on what Dia decides to do here. Dia goes straight window. Holds behind the barricade. Finds an angle, but fires too early. Fires into the barricade, gives away their position, and takes some damage for it. Good grenade from Harris. Well done. But there's two more there. There's two more waiting. Here pushing double doors. One glass. Alebamos holding that banana. Gets a pick on Dia. That's an important kill. Harris gets the second kill of the round. Well done. Loose holding spawn. Bluff on. Server. Mucorning on. Ramp. Teleporting everywhere. I don't think they saw Harris on glass there from banana. No, it doesn't look like they did, and Harris could get a really good angle here. No, they are well and truly spotted now. They're going to get flanked from Balcony. Yep, Boost gets one. Good flank, he get the second. Yes, well played. Yeah, Nasratu didn't even know they were on Balcony. A bit of a... That's communication right there. Yep. 
Frat 101 is just hiding on the ghost. I think they know he's there. Yeah. Yep. Just gets swarmed. But, yeah, it looks yeah. like it looks like DSR was slowed it down a little bit there. Mm-hmm. After they yeah, realized yeah. they can actually lose. Yeah, caught off guard by Halib. Bad monsters, uh, kill potential. Um, but they're showing that like they have good coordination and communication here, and that wins rounds hundred percent. If you can keep like control of a round, you can slow your pacing down and just talk to each other. Then you're fine. We also have a glass ghost here, and it looks like Harley and Bamos are playing it. I will get more enthusiasm into that pronunciation in a bit. That's right. 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 Triss is on 16 HP. If they throw a grenade, they get, they get ooh, good get in. They get Frank. Well done. They can get actually. Yeah, there's one more. There's one more. Grenade. Grenade. Oh, the. Triss on 16 now. Loose again with the flank. I was Paul on glass. Double doors. Stepping into glass. Oh, here we go, 1v2. It's down to the teleportation device. Oh, Mike and throws a nade. Oh, almost gets 101. I think he jumped off the balcony there. Oh no, he's gotta he's gotta he's gotta lame it out and wait for Paul. Okay, now they're together. This is another thing, is they have to this is a winnable situation, but they have to coordinate. Yeah. They just turned it into a 1v1 by picking up the ghost there. Stella, why do you think Sis is having issues? Please tell us quick. It's like 101's gonna cap here. This is the right cap zone. Yep. Yeah, well played. Uh, I don't think that it's actually the sys thing. I think that this server actually needs restarting. It's well, not issues... a British server. Yeah, issues aside, uh, we got a close match here. It's 2 2. Mm hmm. BSR need to book up their ideas right now. One hundred one frag scoring for the MXS here. Yeah. Interesting. I was Paul on the ZRC pushing through to red. Chris with the first pick. Loose going frag. Mm -hmm. And ours Paul here at red gonna. I ESR going for full server control here. Out goes the Ned. Doesn't find the target, but they do maintain server control. One on one with a flank here. Ah, uh, he he got the kill and just stood there and reloaded. Chris gets him. Moving towards the cap, I think. Uh. Machines, I think you keep changing their names. Machine Spirit's going to be too slow. Yep, oh, inexperience no. coming into play here. Well played from DSR there. Recognizing that they had the numbers advantage that and that they could take advantage of the player being out of position. Ooh, that's an A on Deer. Oh, nice. Where are they going? Trip Deer's going around. ramp fast. So it slowed it down. No one came ramp. Hmm. 
Yeah, deer's up. I'm gonna find one. Oh, there it says, oh, I don't need an air. I can just get the first pick myself. There's a lag coming into play here. If they want to do a pause, they need to do a technical pause right now. Nice shot, dear. Chris almost killing deer there. <laughs> Chris with the ghosts, trying to figure out their strategy. And their strategy is go for cap. Yeah, just a misplay out of position there. Palabamos uh, figure they need to stick together, but that let them open, open up the lane for the cap. Yeah. It seems to me that Alemamos have good experience, just not on this map. It's Snowfall really does catch players out. If you've not like played much comp, Snowfall really will do you in, because it's not a common map, unless you play Pugs. Yeah, Deer Gun in the early pick there with the A13. Okay, and now I'm experiencing the absolutely fucking monumental lag on this server. Ooh, Nosferatu drops out of vent. Finds two players and gets killed. 3v2. You're going in. You're gonna catch. Almost gets two there. Harris is on seven health, so Machine Spirit could win this. You're sitting on the ghost. Trying to make a last stand. Cyprian, if neither team is able to close out the round, it's just a tie. It's that simple. Machine should have heard that cloak. Ah, yeah. Didn't recognize that Chris was staying in there with the cloak. Get shot by both team, both players. Well, it was close, but then quickly it. Uh, now we're at, looking at five two with dead set radio up. It seemed like once Dead Set Radio got into the groove, they kind of they kind of took off. So we'll, let's see if that continues here. Mm -hmm. That back in hand for Deer. Good I don't know about that placement. Mm. Kinda... Actually, you would know quite well. Yeah, you're looking at uh, Halebamos is um, positioning right now. It's on the opposite side of the map, so Dead Pack's going to do nothing. Yeah, what's well, hiding behind these ammo crates? I don't know if those props negate the blast damage or radius. I they think do. they would. Ooh. Oh no, another team kill and yeah, deer cleans them up. Cleans them up. Yeah, there was. Yeah. I saw there was like three of them of Halabamos on a uh, banana. They seem to really try to stick together, and it can work, but one nade and it's ruined. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. allow the other team to flank around you every which way. Yeah, it, it, it's very common for the like less experienced players to think, okay, well, death balling is going to work right now. And that's what Halibamos is uh, thinking about. They've clearly got one or two very experienced players, though, because here comes ours, Paul, and I think... I think it's ours, Paul, and 101 frags. They're both 
that's a good oh if only that was a grenade on banana and not a smoke yeah and i was gonna say ours pull like they pushed up to that top of the banana but then started moving forward it's like unless you got back up just get out with the info mm -hmm. that you have and live to see another day meanwhile deer again causing havoc yeah in their spawn is, flanking uh, around nice. the laptop well 30 XP, 5 deaths here for Luz. You've got 29, 5 for Harris, 21 and 6 for Deer. So really, uh, DSR is showing the strength as a team. It's not just one uh, player here. Whereas Halid, Vamos! I like showing inexperience as a team. Yep, and just like that, it's match point. Yep. Yeah, Halid... You know, the, they, they let them, they let Halibamas let DSR cap a couple times. They lost that 2v1. Um, and they're just not coordinating well and they're getting getting flanked easily without their, with a lack of communication. Mm -hmm. But this is DSR's map pick, I believe, uh, off the top of my head. I could be wrong there. And so we expect them to perform better naturally as D is just going. In with oh, I love Dia's positioning with the super right now. It's fantastic. What's around gets the first pick. Good job. Yeah, and Deer is also pushing with the assault back up, and that's that's the uh, optimal. Oh, Halibama's getting the second kill here. They've got the ghost control. Here comes Dia though. Oh, the TK. Oh no, Dia, Dia, no. They're already dead. They're already dead. Yeah, unfortunate. Just not not closing down the lanes and letting deer uh, stop through. They have the right idea though. They were pushing it through server. It's that flank annihilated them. The unfortunate TK there. You know, Halibamoth just not quite finding it. 